Yo, so in this video, I've spent nearly a thousand dollars on like 30 different Minecraft products that you probably didn't even know actually exist. We're gonna test each one so we can decide if they are popping or new dropping. Things are about to get real blocky. So get ready. All right, so I feel like this video is gonna take a while to film. So to keep track of time, I decided to cop this official Minecraft smartwatch. And once we turn it on, it's got the Minecraft logo and we can see all the different features it has. There's even a little crafting table icon for the settings. We also have a bunch of options to choose for the clock face. I kind of like the diamond ore. Sheesh, I got the rocks on my wrist. But this watch also has a tiny built-in camera. Which we could use to record some very high quality videos. Or you can take some pictures with it. Then you can use the actual built-in gallery to view the stuff that you shot. Damn, these pictures are lit. It's also apparently got a step counter built in if you want to track your walk. So apparently we did 1.8 thousand steps. So I guess it works. Or just a normal timer that we can use to see how fast I can build this Minecraft Lego set. Nice, so that basically took nine minutes. And how quickly we can destroy it. Yeah, so that takes about two seconds. It also comes with some games preloaded onto it, like this hand washing game. Yeah, don't even ask me. But I guess you can try and game on this thing if you really are that bored. It also barely fits on my wrist because I'm probably way too old to use it. But I'd say it's popping. So another product is these Minecraft Pringles. Yep, it's actual legitimate Pringles, but just Minecraft. Which is good because I haven't had anything to eat yet. Okay, so they actually have a cool design, but the suspicious stew is a very questionable flavor. I guess there's there's only one way to find out. Yeah, so the taste is pretty bussin', so I'd say these are popping. I just hope they didn't poison me. <laughs> Yo, what? These are dropping. So a big part of Minecraft is using all the different tools. So I bought this sword and pickaxe to test on real life materials. All right, so the pickaxe should allow us to collect some stone. Yeah, I don't think that's gonna work in real life. But how about the sword? Okay, maybe with enough force, this could do some damage. All right, so these tools look accurate to the game as well. So I'm gonna say the sword is popping, but the pickaxe needs dropping because it doesn't really work. Also, all real hardcore Minecraft players just use their bare fists to mine blocks. But other items that could be used as a weapon are these balloons. Is that supposed to be a creeper? That we can fill up with water and then throw at our enemies. Damn, bro's getting tested real hard today. Yeah, I'd say these are popping. Quite literally popping, like balloon popping. Damn, it looks like the sun is setting and it's starting to get a bit dark, which means that zombies and other monsters could start roaming the streets. So I got this Minecraft torch to keep on my bedside table. Okay, how'd you turn this on? Oh, hey, it's literally a water bottle, not an actual torch. I mean, I guess it will still come in useful for that super refreshing sip when you randomly wake up in the middle of the night with a really dry mouth. And just for fun, we should see if it can hold more water than the Lego bottle that I have. So yeah, the torch is a thick boy. Pure H2O, baby. This one is popping for sure. But it's still pitch black in my room. And I can hear strange noises coming from the distance. Kind of scary, not gonna lie. So I also bought this Minecraft lava lamp, which will emit some light into the room. And it's actually got a bunch of floating stuff inside of it. And it gets a bit trippy if you sit real close to it and just stare at it. But it also projects these cool and interesting patterns on the walls. Ah, finally. I can relax in the bed and get some sleep. Wait, what? You may not rest while monsters are nearby. So I also got this creeper headlamp. And don't worry, this one doesn't hiss at you or explode if you get too close. And surely it will keep the mobs away now, because they might be scared that I'll turn their head into a lamp just like this creeper. Okay, so these lights made my bedroom nice and cozy, so I'd say they're popping. Alright, so it's the morning now, and I also got this creeper glass cup. Bro does look kind of stretched out, but I can load it up with some refreshing water. And let's test to see what happens if you accidentally lose your grip. Well, I don't think I have to say he needs dropping anymore because I literally just did that. Okay, so I felt like having some more fun, so I bought a few different shooting weapons. And we can test which one is the best one. The first one is this small chicken nerf gun with actual working wings that unfold. And just like a chicken, it can't actually fly. But then we also have this bigger crossbow nerf gun, which can hold three bullets at a time. And it feels a bit better to hold. Then there's also this bow and arrow, which looks the most accurate to the game. And it makes some different sounds when pulling the strings. Wow, it actually feels like I'm in the game. So to test all of these weapons, I got a bunch of different Minecraft targets that we can shoot at. Okay, so we have this big squishy llama that will cure your stress issues. Then we have these smaller squishy figures that will be slightly harder to hit. Yo, there's a bee in my room. 
And finally, we have these tiny figures. They are pretty much the size of a Lego minifig, so you need a lot of accuracy to get these. All right, so let's see how these weapons hold up. So the chicken gun first. I managed to hit the snowman and knock over the Steve figures. Next is the crossbow, and we get three shots with this one. All right, all right, it didn't do that much damage. Now time for the old-fashioned bow and arrow. Yeah, these are fun to use. I'd say they're popping. Okay, so next is a speed run of some random items I could find to make my setup look more interesting while I'm playing some Minecraft. Because right now it's all empty and boring. So first we have this build your own level hologram light, which comes with a lot of stickers that you can use to design your own world. So I decided to use the different blocks to create a simple house. And then place things like a crafting table, a furnace, and a chest inside of it. Then we can place Steve and Alex with different tools in their hands. Hey, yo, it seems like some mobs managed to spawn in. Luckily they can't move because they're literally stuck to the glass. But let's add some torches just in case. Nice, and now we can admire our own creation. Until we get bored of it and decide to blow it all up with a TNT block. There's also this stationary set, which lets you arrange a few different blocks that can be used to store and organize your stuff. The diamond block even comes with a pencil sharpener if you ever need one. And luckily, the TNT block doesn't actually explode if you accidentally happen to have a lighter next to it. It just kind of burns and stinks instead. I also bought this Minecraft piggy bank and obviously it lets you store a whole bunch of coins inside of it. Damn, bro's starting to get heavy. All right, so let's see if this little piggy also likes carrots, just like the ones in the game. Yo, we actually moved. So yeah, even though this thing might be straight up alive, it's still a nice addition to my desk. And maybe one day it'll make me rich from all the change I can save. And another useful item that I can add to this desk is this Minecraft themed controller that I can use if I want to do some sweaty gaming sessions. I also made a couple of these Lego brick stands that we can use to prop the controller up. But I feel like we do need a couple more characters on the desk. So I got these cardboard figures that you have to fold into shape yourself, which is kind of annoying, but actually fun at the same time. So after folding more stuff than I ever folded in my entire life, we ended up with this wolf figure that can just chill on my desk and be a good boy. And also this zombie one. So now bros can literally fight each other and see who will win. <laughs> And he took his entire arm off. And in the game, zombies will start burning if they go out into daylight. So let's see if the same happens to this bloke. Nah, he's built different, so nothing happens to him. Unless... Okay, and the last item I want to add for now is this massive blockopedia, which is basically a book that will teach you everything about blocks in the game. I ain't gonna read it now, but it's a great thing to have if you ever feel bored enough to read it. Alright, so the setup is looking much better now and no longer empty, so I'd say all of these products on my desk are popping. Okay, so one of my most favourite mobs from the game is the panda. They just look cute and fun to play with, and this is a big panda figure from the game, but it actually opens up and reveals a small house inside. Oh, hang on, you gotta put the stick on it first. Is it just me or does anyone else absolutely hate putting on stickers? But yeah, inside there's a small house where even smaller pandas live. There's even a secret bed hidden inside of the head. Then there's also this water slider that takes you down to the lower level where you can find a small bamboo forest which pandas actually love to eat and a tasty looking cake. And you can actually take a slice from it but I wouldn't recommend eating it because it's still made out of plastic. But yeah, once you're done, you can just close it all up and pet your new friend. This one's popping for sure. And funnily enough, Lego actually has their own version of this big panda design, which is nearly the same size. It also has a house inside, and a few bamboos, a couple of pandas, and even a cake. So yeah, they're pretty similar, but let me know in the comments which one you like more. I also wanted some sort of Minecraft product to put inside of my car, so I got this little Steve figure. But you will notice that it actually has two different sides that you can flip between. One of them is the normal default Steve, and the other has full armor on. Bro can actually get dripped up in like two seconds. But it kind of works like a cool fidget toy that I can use if I'm ever bored in the car. So I'd say this one is popping and I'm just gonna keep him right here. Alright, so I'm recording this next bit while chilling outside of the UK for a bit and there's this strange bright thing in the sky. It's kind of hot and sweaty for a British boy like me, so I need a way to cool down. And to do just that, I decided to cop this glow squid water gun, take off the cap, fill it with some fresh water and start spraying away at random things. Ah, finally. This feels super refreshing. Hey, yo, that's a bit sus though. And to test the power of this thing, I found this random Scooby-Doo figure from Playmobil, so we need to take the ops down. 
But yeah, that's pretty good. I'd say this water gun is popping. So I also actually found this steep head mask that comes flat packed inside of a bag. But then once it's unfolded, it turns into the cube shape that we all recognize. So after doing some very important structural testing, I can actually put the head on. Damn, bro fully transformed into a Minecraft character. And now I can do a bunch of things from the game. Like punching a random tree to get some wood. How about actually doing a bit of mining and hitting some dirt with my hand? Ow, that kind of hurt. So to regenerate some of my health, we can pick up this random apple from the tree and start aggressively eating it until we get full health again. Damn, that was nice. I could also place this metal bucket into my inventory and use it to pick up some water. Then we can just place a block of pure H2O in a random place. Oh, that didn't really work. Okay, so other than that, Minecraft parkour is actually quite a big thing. So let's see if this Steve is able to climb up the wall of this house. What the hell? Oh my god, bro. <laughs> But anyways, I heard that there's gonna be some diamonds if I go this way. Hey, yo! Oh, hell no! <laughs> but yeah, I'd say the Steve head is pretty good and it lets you pretend you live inside of Minecraft. So it's popping in my opinion. Alright, so back in the UK, I kind of felt bad that my dogs were watching me test all of these fun products. So I wanted to surprise them with this Enderman plush toy, which is basically the same thing as from the game, but just a bit cuter. And I mean, yeah, it's almost the same size as the dogs, but he fits right in. And he can keep them company now, as long as he doesn't decide to randomly teleport somewhere else. Hey, yo, what? I <laughs> got you now, buddy. Get back in there. Yeah. I'd say this one is popping. All right, so I also found this massive flat packed Minecraft chest and then it kind of just really easily pops up and turns into an actual 3D chest and we can start storing some of the Minecraft products inside of it. It looks like it would actually fit quite a lot of stuff. And for size comparison, this is what it looks like next to me. Then to top it off, we can also add this Minecraft logo light so everyone knows that this is where we get blocked up. And it makes the chest easier to find in the dark if you ever need it in an emergency. Damn, now the only thing that we're missing is a crafting table and a furnace right next to it. Now we're talking. This is popping for sure. Okay, so the time has come to unbox the most exciting product of them all. This is an actual limited edition Minecraft eggs box. Even the box itself is really cool because you see some grass blocks at the top, but then as you dig deeper into the packaging, you start to see what's underground. Like all the stone blocks, some ores and stuff, and even lava in some places. And then the console itself. It's designed as the iconic Minecraft grass block, which just looks so cool in my opinion. And then when flipped around, we can see some redstone circuits that run within the inside of the plastic case. I honestly love the details of this console design so much. Then we also get two custom controllers along with it. We get a creeper controller and a little piggy. So the creeper has a TNT block on the battery cover. And then this one just has a little pigtail. That's such a cool little detail. All right, it's time to test this thing. So let's also lay down our giant Minecraft gaming floor mat and we're ready to go. Dude, what? It literally plays the Minecraft music. Okay, so now I should just be able to take a seat on here, grab our creeper controller, and obviously the best way to test this thing, Minecraft. Ooh, we're loading up, boy. This little rug is actually quite comfy. It literally just feels like I'm sat on a Minecraft grass block. <sighs> Refreshing. Damn, this is the ultimate Minecraft experience. Playing Minecraft on a Minecraft Xbox, sat on a Minecraft block, using a Minecraft controller to control the game, with Minecraft items all around me. If you're gonna do it, might as well do it all the way. Hey guys, look. Now we can compare the real chest to the game one. And they look pretty similar. All right, so I found some stone, but I haven't got a pickaxe in the game. So let's see if this works. Okay, maybe we have to hit it harder. Let's see. Alright, so I know this wasn't one of my usual LEGO videos, but I hope you guys enjoyed it just as much. Let me know in the comments below if there's any other products you'd want me to test. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.